Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by WindowsLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to move windows around on the screen with your keyboard. Now, before you go away thinking, when am I ever going to use that? If you have a multi-monitor setup on your desk, where you got multiple monitors plugged into one computer, you definitely want to learn this trick. Okay, if you got a window on your screen and you want to move it, as long as that window has focus, all you have to do is press Alt and Spacebar. So hold down the Alt key, press the Spacebar, and that little guy pops up. All right, it's a little menu in the upper left corner. Now come down to Move, use the down arrow so that you're on Move, and then press Enter. And now, see you got the little four-way pointing arrow there? You can now use the keyboard. I'm using the keyboard, just pressing the little arrow keys and moving around, see? And then press Enter when you're done. Okay, that's that simple. So click and drag with your mouse or Alt spacebar. Move or size, you can change the size too. Okay, now not every application, like a lot of the new ones, you don't see that little control box up here, it's called. All right, but if you press Alt spacebar, it still pops up. So you can still do the same trick. Okay, and if you want to switch between the different windows, you can hit Alt tab and that'll switch between the different windows. Okay. And of course, don't forget about my favorite Alt key combination. Alt F4 will close the window. And here it'll say, do you want to save changes? I'll say cancel. All right, but if you're on like the calculator, Alt F4. And it just closes it. Now, why is this important to know? Well, sometimes you don't want to have to stop and grab the mouse. But more importantly, if you've got a multi-monitor setup like I do, it's possible to sometimes move a window where you can't click and drag it. For example... I've got a regular laptop that I work with, right? And then above that, I've got a separate monitor plugged into it. This is my laptop screen. And up here, this is the bottom of my monitor above that, okay? And here you can see this is the top window. This is the bottom window. Now, just a couple days ago, I accidentally did this. I clicked this and I dragged it. Now, if you drag it up that far, it's fine. But if you drag it right there, there's a sweet spot where if you let go of the mouse and you don't mean to, that window's now stranded, right? I can't get to the title bar. You can't click on it up here and get to it. You can't get to it on the bottom monitor. So I'm just, I'm, it's stuck. There's no way I can click on that title bar to drag the window like I can this one here. It's stuck behind the Windows task bar on the upper monitor. Now, if you know how to close the window, you can click here and then just go Alt F4, right? But what if you got stuff on here that you don't want to lose? And you don't want to have to close the application and restart it and all that. Well, Alt Spacebar and that menu pops up. And it popped up on the upper menu because technically that title bar is on the upper menu. Come down to Move, Enter, and then Down Arrow. And there you go. And that's why it's cool to learn all these different little keyboard shortcut tricks. So that's it. That was your fast, fast tip for today. Now you know how to move windows around with the keyboard. And that's little windows with a lowercase w. It doesn't look good in the title, but it's windows with a lowercase w, generic windows, not windows, capital W, which is Microsoft Windows, right? <laughs> that's your fast tip for today. I hope you learned something. I hope this will help somebody. I'll see you next time. If you want me to post more videos about Microsoft Windows, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and post a comment down below. Let me know that you want more Windows videos. About 90% of what I teach is Microsoft Access Database Design, but I love teaching Windows, Word, Excel, lots of other topics too. Of course, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, so if you want more Windows training, make some noise.